good afternoon guys um uh, so i've come up with a new series of lectures online lectures uh video lectures on banking specialization uh mba master of business administration and uh, fourth semester has a subject known as financial risk management we'll uh, go through uh, the syllabus of frm semester 4 the specialization of uh, banking and financial services and my name is dr abhishek tripathi if you look into syllabus of frm it says introduction to risk introduction to derivatives mechanics of options trading financial swaps forex market derivatives so these this is the syllabus of uh, frm let us go to unit 1 unit 1 which is introduction to risk it is talking about meaning of risk how risk is managed limitations of risk management total risk what are the sources and types of risk cost of risks what are the cost of risks then corporate risk management what are the approaches process and techniques of corporate risk management so these are the six points which we will study in unit 1 let us go for meaning of risk financial risk is a term that can apply to businesses government entities the financial market as a whole and the individual the risk is the danger or possibility that shareholders investors or other financial stakeholders will lose money risk refers to the probability of loss or uncertainty in the future so in one word in one sentence if you want to define risk risk is what it is probability of loss or uncertainty in the future if we talk about financial risk it is a probability of financial loss or uncertainty financial uncertainty in the return so uh, return so this is about the financial risk now if you look into financial risks risk then three types of financial risk are there counter party market risk and liquidity risk and counter party risk are of two type credit risk and partners risk market risk is of commodity risk interest risk and foreign exchange risk and liquidity risk are of two type financing risk and cash flows risk so uh, risk related to cash flow is uh, uncertainty of cash flows in the future let us understand these risks one by one what is counter party risk counter party risk when uh, for example in a contract if there is always a risk then one party will not be able to or will not be uh, will not to fulfill its promise in the future and this is counter party risk because one party is defaulting on its promises and it can be credit risk counter party risk uh, type of uh, uh, counter party risk is credit risk so uh, maybe uh, when you lend someone some money and he is not paying you back that is credit risk partners risk maybe partners are defaulting then market risk uh, is a risk which is associated with the market conditions it is commodity prices may go on higher or lower side interest may go on higher or lower side and foreign exchange may also fluctuate on higher and lower side so this is market risk liquidity risk is a risk uh, which uh, is due to uh, uh, whether there will be enough of cash to pay uh, uh, obligations uh, future obligations so uh, financing whenever you get finance for some company and uh, you have to pay back the principal and interest amount so at the time of payment you should have enough cash to pay back money otherwise you won't be able to service your debt and that will lead to default now then next one is cash flows so cash flow is also uncertain because if you would have if you remember in capital budgeting what we used to do we used to find out what are the future cash flows and we used to present a discount uh, to the present value but future cash flows are always uncertain because it is future you don't know what will happen in the future then return on investment what is roi return on investment is a performance measured measure used to evaluate the efficiency of an investment or compare the efficiency of a number of different investments ROI tries to directly measure the amount of return on a particular investment relative to investment cost so it is very simple whatever profit you are getting minus whatever ultimately profit you are getting divided by whatever expenses you made 
to calculate roi the benefit of an investment is divided by the cost of investment it's simple benefit divided by cost the result is expect, expressed as a percentage or a ratio roi is current value of investment minus cost of investment divided by cost of investment so it is the net amount which you are getting out of that investment for example you bought an a uh, bought a uh, share for 100 rupees and you are selling it for 120 rupees so 120 minus 100 will be 20 divided by 100 will be 20 percent so this is how roi is calculated now what are the causes of risk first is credit risk credit risk is when you lend someone some money and is not uh, ready to pay that back that is uh, he may default on a payment of uh, the loan amount counterparty risk maybe one party of the contract will not be able to fulfill his her obligation that is counterparty risk interest rate risk it is risk related to interest rate interest rates may go on higher or lower side and you may suffer loss for example let's take an example of a person who is going for home loans so what will happen if uh, the uh, risk uh, if the interest uh, is uh, moving upward then what will happen your emis will be on higher side and that is the risk market risk it is a risk related to market conditions it is also uh, it is related to the system the economy business risk it is a uh, risk related to a particular business for example there can be a risk uh, related to uh, education sector so that is uh, education business so that will be business risk. whatever risk is related to a particular business that will be a business risk legal and statutory risk these are the risks related to laws the government may make some changes in the law which may make uh, your uh, return difficult then investment risk investment risk means whatever investment you have done whether that investment will come back to you with the proper profit or not that is investment risk then industry risk this is risk related to a particular industry for example real in real estate industry is in problems these days so there's a risk in uh, investing in real estates then environmental risk this is the risk related to environment related to forest related to deforestation deforestation related to uh, climate change related to um, uh, uh, co2 emission so this is environmental risk now sources of risk what are the sources of risk decision and indecision taking decision wrong decisions can uh, cause risk indecision not taking risk can also not taking decision also can cause uh, risk business cycle seasonality sometimes seasonal uh, uh, seasonality of the business can cause you risk for example the umbrella business it is working very well in uh, uh, rainy season but doesn't work good in other seasons so that seasonality is also risk economic or physical changes if there is any fiscal changes or economic changes then also there is an issue for example uh, there was more thrust on health before but uh, the government has taken back some of the money invested in health and in the recent uh, budget they have reduced their spending on health that would reduce to uh, risk and changes in the health sector and market preferences if market preferences change then also that is an issue political sources due to politics also the risk is created because that will lead to uh, instability the governance regulations various laws if laws change it becomes very difficult for example the case of alcohol the rules and regulations keep on changing so it is highly exposed to regulation risk competition the competitors also may increase your risk maybe they come up with new product or they may uh, go aggressive on advertising and that way they uh, they may hit on your market so that will create a problem a risk technology maybe with the technology you are using obsolescence it is out of the market now you need to renew yourself and lack of information this is also biggest problem you want to do something but you don't have information and then you uh, do something and that will lead to uh, that is also a source of risk so lack of information is a big source of risk so these are the causes and sources of risk now types of risk in finance there are two types of risk in finance systematic risk and unsystematic risk systematic risk is uncontrollable by any organization and it is macro in nature it is risk related to system it is risk related to market 
it is it cannot be controlled by any organization and unsystematic risk is controllable by the organization and micro in nature micro in the nature it means it means it is related to the particular organization now what are the types of systematic risks types of systematic risk are interest rate risk market risk and purchasing power or inflationary risk interest rate risk is a risk related to interest rate for example the interest rate or crr or slr may be moved upward and downward by the rbi now there are two types of interest rate risk price risk and re reinvestment rate risk let us talk about price risk it is a fluctuation in the price reinvestment rate risk means if you in case you invest it and you again uh, will you get proper money for your return as your return then market risk absolute risk relative risk directional risk non directional risk basis risk volatility risk these are the risks related to market absolute risk relative risk absolute risk means a uh, stand alone risk whenever you have risk stand alone relative risk means related risk when it is compared with someone else's risk directional risk when the risk is in particular direction it is moving in a particular direction non directional risk it can move randomly to any direction basis risk it is a risk related to basis points volatility risk it is a risk due to fluctuation of prices now what is purchasing power or inflationary risk these are the risks created due to lowering of purchasing power of the people or due to inflation now demand inflation risk and cost inflation we already know about demand inflation risk and cost inflation risk because we know about demand pull and uh, cost push so uh, whenever the demand increases then on to inflation is caused and when cost also increases then also inflation is caused so these are the two factors which cause the inflation and they are the part of the risk and uh, the part of the systematic risk let's let's go for unsystematic risk business risk and liquidity risk then financial risk credit risk and operational risk business risk or liquidity risk these are the risks related to business or liquidity of the business whether they are able to fulfill their debt obligations or not then funding liquidity risk whether you are getting proper funding at the right time that is also very important financial risk or credit risk exposure rate risk whether you are exposed to any particular sector for example let's take an example of bank just imagine of a bank which is investing only in real estate and uh, then they will suffer if your real estate goes down so exposure rate risk is very important recovery rate risk is very important because uh, whether you are able to recover back uh, and uh, uh, from your the risk credit event risk uh, there are maybe some credit event which may cause the risk to uh, uh, come up and it may cause uh, for example uh, there is uh, some problem in real estate which suddenly happens and that will lead to credit event risk then sovereign risk this is risk related to uh, uh, the uh, head of the state or the state itself so sovereign risk is the risk related to state settlement risk this is the risk of settlement whether the settlement will be able to happen or not that is a risk related to settlement then operational risk then operational risk there can be uh, model risk means uh, maybe the operating model you are using is not proper and that may cause of uh, that may be cause of risk people risk risk related to people whether they will leave the job they will stay in the job and all those things legal risk there may be risk related to law legal uh, risk it is called and political risk so risk related to politics so these are the types of risk systematic and unsystematic systematic is uh, uncontrollable and it is macro in nature and unsystematic is controllable in nature and uh, controllable by an organization it is micro in nature key risk indicator so kri a key risk indicator is a measure used in management to indicate how risky an activity is key risk indicators are metrics used by organization to provide an easy signal for increasing risk exposure in various areas of enterprise it differs from a key performance indicator in that the latter latter is meant as a measure of how well something is being done 
while the former is indicator of possibility of future adverse impact so in key performance indicator we find out what are the performance how performance is doing and what are the indicators of his performance and key risk indicator shows the risk part so it is negative part of kpi kri gives an early warning to identify potential events that may harm continuity of the activity project key risk indicators what are the key risk indicators branch network number of complaints claims to the company number of lost clients account amount of compensation paid to the client volume of balances lost opportunity cost loan in case of loan client department average days of getting loan approval number of identified fraud cases client is satisfaction evidence by client surveys number of uh, critical errors detected in the credit files legal department number of legal actions against the company third parties volume of legal actions against the company third parties number of regulatory inquiries regulate legislation breaches finance department volume of penalties imposed by regulators total amount of suspicious transactions number of late completion or non completed transactions human resources turnover of experienced staff number of temporary short term staff number of employees attended attended training courses number of employees failed to pass mandatory evaluation it number of failures related to it system and other requirement number of calls to help desk on it system and other equipment average down town time of it system and other equipment increase in transaction load on system now let us talk about so these are the risks related to key risk indicators of various departments let us go for risk analysis there are two ways of analyzing a risk qualitative risk analysis and quantitative risk analysis in qualitative risk analysis you are making risk registers probability impact matrix so if probability is high and impact is high then you have to take measure for that risk first and uh, so if you make a matrix on probability and impact then uh, the events which may happen and which have uh, higher probability and higher impact then they should be dealt first risk categorization so a risk categorization is also very important you have to identify the types of risk you are face coming uh, you are uh, experiencing expert judgment expert judgment is also a quality risk analysis qualitative risk analysis because that is not quantifiable and it is mainly related to quality quantity quantitative risk analysis sensitivity analysis what we try to find out here is we make a, an excel model and then we fi- try to find out the impact of change in one parameter on the other parameters decision tree analysis it is uh, similar to fishbone diagram where you are taking to take decision you are, what you are doing is you are trying to find out what are the reasons and why you are it is a cause effect diagram so decision it sim- becomes similar to decision tree that is why it is called as decision tree analysis scenario analysis you take a scenario and simulate it and you find out uh, using uh, various models what uh, action to be taken in a particular scenario latin hypercube simulation this is a kind of simulation technique where uh, you put in various parameters in a computer and you come out of with uh, some uh, good returns monte carlo simulation this is also a kind of simulation where uh, you're uh, input you're inputting a lot of things and then you get something out of it so you try to find out what is the risk associated with various things so these are qualitative risk analysis let us go for total cost of risk total cost of risk is a quantifiable controllable number that can be identified and reduced simply put total cost of risk is the total cost of your insurance premiums retained losses ex and deductible and uninsured losses and internal external risk control cost the implicit or explicit price a company must pay to manage its risk exposures it is typically comprised of expected costs and direct and indirect losses arising from risk retention loss control loss financing and risk reduction activities how to calculate total cost of risk the formula for calculation of total cost of risk is risk financing plus loss costs plus administrative costs plus administrative plus uh, taxes my and fees 
and which is equal to total cost of risk. So this is the formula for total cost of risk. You have to make an addition to uh, risk financing, total cost, administrative cost and taxes and fees and then you come to total cost of risk. Components of cost of risk. There are five main components of the cost of risk. Expected losses, cost of loss control, cost of loss financing, cost of internal risk reduction and cost of residual uncertainty. These are the five types, uh, components of risk. We will discuss these uh, from this slide, component of risk in uh, coming uh, uh, in the next lecture. We will finish our first lecture here itself. Thank you and have a nice day. We will see you in the next lecture. We will continue with the first unit. Thank you.